A new month has finally begun, but if you're expecting good news from the gaming industry today, you're out of luck. All the Titanfall fans in your life better check out because E has reportedly quietly cancelled the single-player FPS option in the same world as Titanfall and Apex Legends. Elsewhere, it was revealed that Sony was quietly getting rid of the PS Plus franchise and that the former Rocksteady developer wasn't too happy with plans to create a more unified DC universe. Read on for full details, E is cancelling single-player scenarios in the Titanfall and Apex Legends universe. After confirming the cancellation of Apex Legends and Battlefield mobile games, a new report claims that he has cancelled a third game that is still in development. The title is apparently a single-player FPS set in the same world as Titanfall and Apex Legends, and is being developed under the codename Titanfall Legends. A team of 50 Respawn developers are said to be working on the game, though they have now either been let go or moved on to other projects. Sony will cancel the PlayStation Plus series on May 9th. One of the biggest perks for PS5 early adopters is the PlayStation Plus collection, a mix of titles that subscribers can try whenever they want. Unfortunately, this benefit is being cancelled as Sony has revealed that it will be shutting down the service on May 9th. Games you've already downloaded can still be played on PlayStation Plus even after the service ends, so make sure you grab whatever you're interested in before it's too late. The former Arkham dev will never make a DC game again due to the Interconnected Universe initiative. Earlier this week, DC Studios heads James Gunn and Peter Safran revealed some big plans for the DCU, including their intention to have actors play the same characters across all media, including video games. While this sounds good in theory, former Rocksteady developer Del Walker has vowed to never make a DC game again, claiming that hiring major Hollywood actors like Margaret Robbie and Robert Pattinson over talented voice actors would be a big mistake. Even as a single-player game, Redfall requires an internet connection. Then it was Arkane's turn to upset people when it confirmed that its upcoming game Redfall will require a persistent online connection to run the game, even if you're playing alone. This means that if the network drops while you're playing, or if you want to play games on the go with Steam Deck, you're out of luck. Nintendo will reportedly skip E3 because it doesn't have enough games to show. Finally, news broke earlier this week that the big return to E3 might not be as big of a deal as we first thought, with PlayStation, Nintendo and Xbox reportedly pulling out this time around. While the reasons for each company remain unknown, another report says Nintendo won't be attending because it doesn't have enough games to show and The Legend of Zelda Tear of the Kingdom is dropping a month before E3 starts. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and support my channel.